Hi guys, uh, hope things are great with you. Let's continue the Venus in the Amazing series. So we have done the fifth, now we're going to talk about the sixth. Venus, as I say, it's the bridge between the divine self, the soul, and also the material self. Okay, it's the bridge. And how it connects is through our Indriyas, or the sensory perception, um, sight, smell, taste, uh, hearing, and also touch. Okay. Now, the sixth is the house of the day-to-day -day drudgery. Okay, it's the house of service, the house of uh, um, things that you do without any form of intention or expectation, things that you have to do, right? Sacrifice, in other words, you know, things that you need to do in order for you to um, get something in return. Now, remember, we, we, the last house, the previous house is the fifth, the house of, you know, quite the opposite joy unconditional love things that you really like to do okay uh, the six is to maintain that to have all that unconditional love passions hobbies uh you know dreams goals aspirations and all that one needs to be ready to do what it takes in other words are you willing to do the job are you willing to do um uh, are you willing to give up certain things you know sacrifice in order for you to enjoy whatever that you love most that's what the sixth house is all about okay it's a house of service commitment um you know which is why the six is always talks about employment right something that you have to do you know most of the time you know we just don't like it but then you have to do because you have bills to pay and things like that okay so to put it simply the sixth house is the day-to-day -day drudgeries and commitments and service okay um what happens when you have a good venus uh, or a well dignified venus going to the sixth house what are the things that you can expect number one is that these people are go-getter personalities they see something uh, they think this is the right thing they don't think twice they just go and get it done okay the go-getter personality always you know charismatic okay second thing is these people have clarity of thought they do not uh, overcomplicate things okay they look at something okay this is what needs to be done and they'll always look at what is the best way to do it what is the most efficient way to get it done okay the third is they'll plan even the smallest of tasks even to buy you know some stuff from the groceries they will plan it it's it, there's such great planners the fourth is these people they know how to enjoy themselves I want you to think about it. I want you to pause the video right now. I want you to really think about it. Are you enjoying yourself? Really, are you? Or you are just doing your work day in, day out? These people are experts in stealing time, in seizing time, and, and you know, enjoying themselves. Okay? The least they'll do is they'll watch something on Netflix before they go to bed. They reward themselves. And this rewarding thing is such an integral component in our day-to-day -day life, okay? Remember, the six is all about day-to-day -day experiences. And the last but not the least is these people um, are good when it comes to accepting problems in life. You know, whatever life throws at them, whatever issues, whatever problems, you know, complexities, trial, tribulations, pain, torture, whatever that comes to them, they will just accept and they will accept and they will move on. They will say, okay, this thing happened to me, fine. I accept it wholeheartedly. And it's time for me to move on right now. That's the quality that they have. Okay. So those are the top five amazing things that you have if Venus is well positioned in the sixth house. Okay. So I hope uh, this video is beneficial to you. If it is, please like, share and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Namaste.